Hi, this is Bob Weiss. I'm the host of Shaking Your World. Cheers. Here we are outside of the uh, former Oxford Apartments, the obviously the former residence of Jeffrey Dahmer. And uh, it is now just a lot. The city had tried several other things at one point. They tried to make this into a child's play area. That never took off for any number of reasons. Who wanted to take their kids to a place where all these murders took place? Looks rather simple and serene right now. So we brought James. He got the other part of the interview earlier today. And now we have Langston. So as we're, as we're just setting up here, Langston pulled up and said, hey, I've got a story about this. So Langston, welcome. All right, how are you doing? And uh, please, tell us your story. Okay, well, uh, Anthony Sears uh, was a, a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one of the first uh, right. killed by uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, they found his skull mm -hmm. and his uh, penis mm -hmm. and, uh, in Jeffrey Dahmer's wall, in his locker at work. Okay, uh, I also had relatives that lived in, in this building. Okay. Okay, uh, now the night that uh, night before he was killed, uh, Anthony Sears was killed, uh, I had a leather jacket that he wanted to wear so bad. Uh, I let him wear the jacket. We were supposed to meet his mother at his mother's house the next day for uh, Easter dinner. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, he didn't show up. Mm -hmm. So we went looking for him. Uh, we traced the cab back to his... Uh, grandmother's house where he was staying uh, but she said he hadn't been there okay so uh, eventually uh, they found that uh, Jeffrey had killed him uh, now the previous thing I was telling you about uh, as far as the relatives that stay here they had a party uh, for their children sure and I brought my children mm -hmm. at the time and uh, you know brought some beer and yeah. things like that when I entered the building I got this foul odor and immediately, uh, it, it, I was like, oh, this is toxic. This is not mm -hmm. good. So I went in the house and um, took the beer and stuff in, and the kids were playing. And uh, I went in the bathroom to use the restroom, and uh, the odor was coming out of the drains. Oh. And I went and sniffed at the drain. I'm like, oh, this is toxic. Uh, my children can't stay here. So we eventually left. Right. But come to find out later on, uh, that Jeffrey was the one that had taken his life, you know. So uh, then I had another friend that lived on the east side. Um, I can't remember his name. It's a Puerto Rican guy that Jeffrey had taken his life also, you know. So uh, it just so happens that I was riding past and uh, saw you guys out here, and immediately I'm like, oh, they must be doing something about Jeffrey, you know. So uh, I just wanted to put my two cents in. So here we are, 30 odd years later, yeah. right? And the the impact remains so significant in this community, yeah. right? And and obviously you lost mm -hmm. two friends. Yeah. Um, any thoughts about that? Uh, well, the, one of the major thoughts about it is uh, his mother never got over it. Right. Uh, Anthony Sears, his mother never got over it, and he had a a play sister. Uh, they, we called him Tony and Tony. Okay. And uh, she to date to this day is still struggling with it and uh to the point where she's uh, uh she's on uh, disability mm -hmm. because of her mental condition i mean she she never got over it and it's 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 really a struggle for her uh, there's not a conversation you can have with her where it won't uh where he won't come up right you know so it's a very sad situation and uh other than that i don't know what to say you know so. Langston, I certainly appreciate your stopping by and, and imparting that with us. It's the um, people have a tendency to forget the the human impact, That's right, yeah. and it, it never goes away. And, and it, it never does because he was. Uh, I met him when he was uh, 13 years old, and uh, he he was ditching school, and they were hiding, hanging out behind my house, and I was like, hey, you guys, um, the only way you guys can come in here is, or in this area is go to school so you know eventually he was able to graduate school mm -hmm. and everything because I, I was kind of like a mentor to him but it was it was uh, real sad you know uh, a life struck down yeah how it take place and uh, his mother died a couple of years ago um, and uh, but it, we, it, we still haven't got over uh, right. Anthony because he was a, a very nice person you know he right. was a real 
real cool guy. Right. You know, he really was. Yeah. Any questions or anything else? It, it's great that you have the, at least have a memory of him. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then what makes it so bad is I'm coming from one friend's house and ride past and you guys are. So it's, you know, hey, the creator has a master plan, you know. Here's another way. Again, right. Langston, thank you very much right. for sharing that nice with us. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Take care of yourself. You too. All right. Shall we walk up this lovely little brick alleyway? So, James, we talked about the sensations that you had before, obviously. You stayed at the Ambassador Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, you certainly got a bevy of things at Shakers. Have you any sensations here at all? Yeah. What are you, yeah. What are you feeling? When we, uh, when we first arrived, um, something pulled me down this way. Okay. Um, in front of that lot over there. Okay. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. Okay. Um, may, maybe uh, that, that's, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's where one of his victims walked at one point or um, but I just I get I get very shaky and okay and nervous in this All area right. are you okay to walk up a little bit yeah I'm good I'm okay. good but it just <laughs> oh. See the uh, the footprints here in the concrete. You almost have to wonder if there wasn't some impact that went along with that as well. Yeah. And the passage of time, the little remnants remain, obviously. Yeah. Though the apartment complex is well torn down. The uh, city officials of Milwaukee got together and decided this could not be here anymore because people would stop by and take pictures all the time or do something else, right? Yeah. So how you feeling, man? You okay? Good. Yeah. Let's uh, get a little closer up here towards the fence. What you got? You look a little unsettled. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, just the closer I get, the more overwhelming I feel about it. But, Touch uh, the rail. Yeah. Lot, lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of bad things. <laughs> It really feels like we're standing in a cemetery right now. Yeah. So we, we do a decent amount of filming in different cemeteries, and this really has that exact same feeling to me. It's not, it's not the peaceful portion. It's something heavier. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of the residual energy left behind. Mm -hmm. So, any, any thoughts here that you might want to, you know, impart on anyone that something's working with you? Not at the moment. Okay. I never know when things are going to hit me. Or, sure. Or, you know, but, uh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I hear this voice that, that says I'm sorry, and I, I, I think it's Jeffrey, you know. When you two atone for it. Yeah. Any thoughts about the way he was uh, murdered in, in prison? Wasn't it, um, oh, I can't, I can't. Christopher Scarber. Okay. And he was related to one of his victims. Whoa. And, well, Scarber's in for manslaughter anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he, he was one of or, I don't know, I'm drawing a blank on this one. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of coincidental, though. Mm -hmm. I would say, for sure. Jesse Anderson as well. He's killed the same day, the same location. He's the person who destroyed Northridge Mall single-handedly. He had killed his wife in the parking lot. Um, screwdriver in her eyes, wow. and uh, he had um, suggested it was uh, two black males that had attacked them. He had superficial wounds himself, of course, self-inflicted, and. Um, they were both killed at the same time, Columbia Penitentiary in the state of Wisconsin. Yeah, wow. Wow. Both under, uh, of course, a uh, guarded lockdown situation, yet all three were allowed to be by themselves. 
with implements that they could then pummel each other with. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's turn it, turn a blind eye. Huh? <laughs> but uh, well, let's see. One time, I attempted to have flowers and things here, which never, never made it. They don't, they don't grow. Yeah, they just don't grow. So yeah, the, the grass doesn't look so hot either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, again, ground zero. Here we are. Doug is the man on the sidelines. Any thoughts? I'm just I'm just learning as we go. I mean, I didn't know enough about him to to uh, make a comment, but uh, the more I understand from him and what this guy actually did is just it's you know pretty horrifying. But uh, yeah, he uh, <laughs> is a bad bad guy with a lot of mental problems, obviously. So he uh, yeah, that's just he's one of those guys that uh, it's best but not to be on this earth, you know. So well, you know, uh, we I I I've long suggested that one of the largest problems we have in our society is mental health issues, and certainly with the the pandemic, people being locked away, that just manifests so much more with so many people. And I would not be surprised if in a few years down the line we don't find that there has been this other preponderance of people who had, that have disappeared during the pandemic and find that there's someone or various people that are behind that as well. Because, you know, obviously mental health is everything. You've got demons going on and you act out upon those, yeah. right? And um, it's difficult for anyone to assist or act upon those anyway. Even the number of times that Jeffrey Dahmer had been had been in the court system and they'd slap his hand and turn him back out for things. And uh, that was you know, simple exposure or anything else, lewd lascivious activity. Um, and yet these things were, were taking place at the same time. So. Pretty horrifying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the monster next door, right? Because yeah. this is, you would not anticipate hearing, I mean, you're just walking around the city streets here and yeah. this, is, yeah. this is not a terrible place to be, right? Right. And uh, and yet the monstrosities that took place here. Yeah. I do.